Hey YouTube, now here from Black Metal Finance to discuss some plays that we had in the markets last week and to discuss some things that we have for this upcoming week. But first, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Discord community, and please remember folks, this is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Okay guys, so the first play we're gonna discuss was the AMC call we made last week. Uh, we picked up our position towards the close on Friday at around 11.1, .1, I believe. Um, next thing you know, this on Monday gapped up towards 13, 14, we took some profit there. And then ever since it's remained above VWAP, uh, towards the close and we anticipate to see a little bit more of a move to the upside given that markets have remained choppy target remains around 17 to 20. The main important thing to note though with AMC is that we want to know how it's going to behave will it continue to trade in channel with GameStop or will it break off and uh, trade on its own. Okay guys so the next stock we're going to discuss was Apple this last week gapped up the last two days towards 125, 126. And recall last week, we told you guys to monitor it. It closed last week, 122. Uh, like we said, gapped up the last two days, went to 126 and then began to slowly sell off. And this is where we placed a put. We picked up some 120 puts, um, expire, expiration April 9th, pardon me, uh, March 19th. And uh, you know they were playing out fabulously until Jerome Powell uh, I believe on Thursday came out and discussed, or rather Wednesday, apologies, uh, came out and you know said we're going to keep in interest rates to zero until next year. Uh, inflation is something we're just going to continue to monitor later on. It's nothing to worry about right now. And more or less, I'm surmising what he said. And you just saw this massive pump up, you know, within an hour and a half towards the closing bell, before catching a short. I mean, excuse me, before uh, you know parring those gains with uh, you know, major shorting. And unfortunately, we had to close that put position due to this pump right here. And, you know, it would have closed in the money, folks. So this was a very big, you know, big missed opportunity uh, learning from our mistakes on this one. But taking a look now at the day chart, I initially thought this was going to close as an evening candle star, uh, Wix, which is extremely bearish. Uh, however, this one towards the end of the day. So let's take a look back here, right? We saw a lot of heavy buying towards the close on Friday. And if you notice, even with the NASDAQ, it had ticked up uh, towards the end of the close. We saw a lot of reversals for the growth stocks that have been getting hammered. You know, those ARK investment favorites, think Roku, I uh, think Square Cash. Um, but most importantly is what's gonna happen with the mega cap names. So that's something we're monitoring right now. Apple again, closed around 120 for the week. We're still looking for that 125 push. Like we've said, markets are going to remain choppy for a bit during this first quarter. There's no, you know, there's no appetite to go up, at least in the NASDAQ. That's why you've seen the Dow continue to outperform. Uh, if this continues to remain the case, you know, we may start to see another sell off uh, in these big names. So some other names, guys, that we discussed last week pertaining to their earnings was CrowdStrike, ticker CRWD. Uh, they had earnings last week and popped up from 195 towards 208, 209 after hours. However, that pop fizzled out and they've remained in this 195 channel, much like the rest of the growth tech names uh, that we've seen in the NASDAQ. Another name that we looked at last week and we said for potential pump possibly was Ride or Lordston Motors. Um, unfortunately, uh, they didn't do enough to refute the short report and dropped after earnings with a nice continuation to the downside with some shorts and puts some of our moderators have been playing. And last week, another marijuana name that we played, Sundial, ticker SNDL. This has been really popular with the retail investors due to the cheap uh, price per share at 1.5 roughly. Again, this didn't really move much either. Uh, however, more so on the fact that New York has um, you know, opened a path to marijuana legalization versus their um, you know, earnings report. So we're looking at some other marijuana names for this upcoming week. So those are some things that we played last week in the markets. Let's go ahead and discuss some earnings that we have for this upcoming week that we intend on playing. Okay, guys, so we have the five minute chart of the uh, first stock we plan on playing this week, which is Tencent Music, uh, TME. It's a Chinese music company. Uh, and usually we're gonna be looking for earnings to be on par, uh, potentially with good guidance. Um, nevertheless, though, looking at the chart, we may have seen the earnings run up happen last Friday. Uh, so again, we're looking for this on Monday. We may, it may be some of the, uh, you know, sell the news type of scenario. Guys, so for Tuesday, this is going to be the first of three names we're going to be discussing. Bingo, ticker BNGO. 
Uh, news on December 30th of last year was that they finally reached compliance with NASDAQ and the PR released as usual with these stocks, um, with that one to seven offering uh, led to that drop. However, there's some good data with the cancer genomics. So notice the huge drop from previous highs again here, uh, back from 15, now towards uh, you know six, bounce to nine. Earnings have been below expectations for the past four quarters. So curious to see now that they're in the NASDAQ if their guidance is and how the price got away from true valuation. Okay, guys, so the first one we're gonna be discussing is going to be bingo for earnings on Tuesday, ticker BNGO. Uh, obviously they had that news on December 30th of last year where they finally met compliance with the NASDAQ. Uh, however, you know, January 7th, there was some PR as usual for uh, stock offerings and the stock dropped as a result. Uh, there has been some good data with their cancer genomics. However, notice the huge drop from the previous highs from 15.5 to six, and then that bounce up to nine. And that's where we've been trading ever since. So, you know, earnings have been below expectations the last four quarters. Curious to see what their guidance is and if their price got away from true valuation. Okay, guys, so the second stock we're gonna be playing is Adobe on Tuesday, ticker ADBE. Uh, during the last earnings report, the stock ran up so far that even though earnings was great, the stock still dropped. Uh, so looking for earnings to be good. However, the stock has stalled out and guidance may not be as positive with the work at home situation starting to end. Looking to play the potential downside with this stock as well as other tech positions that we've been doing recently. And of course, the third name we're going to be playing this week on Tuesday's earnings is the uh, one and only GameStop, GME. So the stock obviously is completely disconnected from true valuation after we saw that gamma squeeze uh, earlier this year. And regardless of how retail investors feel about this, the price always reflects fundamentals. Short interest yet has dropped again. Look for earnings through the first quarter to be decent with potential good guidance for the rest of the year. However, this one, I'll be playing to the downside with puts. Right now, looks to be supported around that 190, 200 area with bounces to 220. Look for a solid break of 180 for us to get down to that 130 target. Okay, guys, so another one we're looking at is going to be KBH or KB Homes. Uh, similar to Leonard Holmes of last week, uh, notice a similar jump in sympathy that we saw on March 17th with LEN. Uh, look for another potential jump with KBH this week on good earnings and great guidance. Okay, guys, so another one we're playing is going to be Darden, ticker DRI. Uh, look for the reopening to be bullish for restaurant sector. Uh, earnings has been in line with expectations the past two quarters. Uh, looking for similar with actually better guidance. Uh, broke pre-COVID highs to new all-time highs. Uh, so this one we're definitely going to be monitoring. Another name we're really excited for this week is going to be RH or retail trade. Uh, this is going to be a similar play to uh, William and Sonoma of last week where we saw a gap up on their earnings and we anticipate to see a similar move with RH. Once again, on good earnings and guidance, look for RH to have profited in the same fashion to the upside as William and Sonoma did. Okay, folks, so the last earnings play we're going to be discussing here is uh, GRWG or Grow Generation Corp. Uh, it's another weed play indirectly through the support services. We're looking for guidance to the upside, especially with more areas now legalizing marijuana in the 50 United States. Okay, guys, so thanks again for tuning in. We discussed some of the plays we had last week, as well as what we have upcoming this week, as well as some earnings. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed our content, please be sure to smash that like button and not only subscribe to our YouTube, but you know, join our community, uh, Black Metal Finance. We use a Discord channel with the link that can be found in the description below, and we hope to see you there soon.